Hello, thanks for joining me. And thanks too for sending in um, so many of your properties for the Deal Clinic. It's um, yeah, it's been really good actually. We've, we've had dozens of you sending in um, properties to go through the Deal Clinic, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm quite excited about going through these. Before we do, quick, quick bit about um, the market right now, sort of a bit of a market update. Um, and that'll come through in some of my answers. But right now, I, I think I described it about a month ago, two months ago, as being turbulent, as in, you know, one minute it was, you know, things are quite hard and some things maybe a little bit soft and you had to go through. There's no, almost no rhyme or reason to it sometimes. It's always a story behind it, but on first glance, you think, why is that, why is that? Um, very similar today. Um, we are, however, buying slightly more houses now than we were six months ago. So we've, we feel that, um, it's becoming a bit more of a buyer's market for our end of the market and you know, the wider UK property market I'm sure is still um, you know, there'll, there'll be areas that I've got absolutely no clue about you know um, maybe prices are dropping a lot further and harder than I, I, I know about in uh, in other areas uh, maybe some are still going up somewhere I don't know but the stuff that we're buying the cheap buy to let investable stock I, I don't want to say up north because you know it's, it's an insult to some people in uh, in Newcastle or whatever. When, when well, I mean, basically the, the Midlands we're not quite up as far as Newcastle, are we? Um, but you know, the, the more northern regions, so Sheffield, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Hull, Grimsby, you know, not really up north. It's pretty much in the middle of the country, but uh, definitely not down south. So uh, that you know, market update. Um, Get out there, start buying, start start looking at what what's what's around, and I'm sure you will. You know, this turbulence sometimes presents as um, you know, it doesn't look like there's much out there. You, you you're sort of meeting a lot of brick walls, but if you push push through that um, at the moment, and I'll talk about that in a minute because one of these I think is exactly a good example of that. Um, I think you'll find some bargains. So first, uh, first deal is from Nicola. Thanks, Nicola. Um, like I say, there's been dozens of these, so I, if I don't get around to you, uh, apologies. Some of them are quite time sensitive, of course. So, um, but hopefully by going through a couple of every couple of weeks, um, I'm going to do two today. Uh, then you'll get the idea, and you'll you'll have something relatable to go back to on your own properties. So it's uh, from Nicola. She sent some pictures in as well. Thank you very much. Um, Viewed a property and it was on the market for fifty seven seven nine five, described as a guide price. Although it now states no longer in the market due to a lot of interest. Um, Nicola, you viewed it. I uh, asked if there was lots of viewings and said some people were cancelled and some people hadn't turned up. Um, haven't heard anything from the estate agent since. It's for sale. Blah blah blah. And then goes on to say uh, what, what describes what work these doing. So um, yeah. Reasonably full renovation, central heating looks all right. Interestingly, going to convert it from a one bedroom into a two bedroom, and that looks to me like that's, that's something that we do, and we, we do those kind of uh, conversions quite often if the house lends it to it. And it says that the, the front bedroom is big enough to put the bathroom into. That's quite a common thing as well. If you can do that, if you can find that, um, then it, yeah, it it works. It works absolutely. It works. Um, one thing there, um, it will need a window putting in. Now, uh, if you're going to put a window in, you've got building regulations and you've got planning permission. So just be careful of that. Um, and also consider a windowless bathroom. Lots of flats these days are built with windowless bathrooms. So it's not all bad if um, we, we have put windowless bathrooms in. You know, when it's in, a t in the middle of a house, in a terrace, um, you know, we, we tend to put more tiles around. So it just makes it nice, feel nice. Otherwise, it can feel a bit claustrophobic. Good lighting, really big extraction fan. Uh, and actually, you, you know, worse off than many new build flats. So, um, asking price on that then was fifty seven seven nine five. Looking into the numbers, and Nicola, you've costed the renovation at ten thousand pounds. So the total cost there was sixty seven thousand seven hundred and ninety five pounds. If you pay all that now, end value, you've said that you're looking on Zoopla, and it's uh, something around seventy six thousand pounds. You think now? Um, then it will rent out for £600 a month. So let's go on to what I thought about that deal. So first of all, I'm looking through the photographs. It looks like the kind of house that you want to be buying, honestly, right size, right price, um, right condition. Um, you know, it, you, you've got some work to do there. Uh, there, there, there could be in yeah, slightly more work in the renovation. I'd make sure you're absolutely spot on on the cost of the renovation. 
if the end value is £76,000, then our maximum spend on all of the property is 68,800. We get to that really simply, we do 76,000 times 0.8. We are always looking for a 20% margin, okay? So on that entire property, including buying it and renovating it, we can only spend 60,800 pounds. Now, if the renovation costs 10,000 pounds, then the offer price there is 50,800 pounds. The rent at 600 pound a month would cover that. That's just a tick, perfect. So, um, I would be really careful on the renovation. Is it gonna cost 10,000 pounds or eight or 12? If that renovation, you can get it done for 8,000 pounds, you can pay 2,000 pounds more for the property. If it's gonna cost 2,000 pounds more to do the work, you can pay 2,000 pounds less for the property. So it's really key that you get the renovation right, um, you know, the costing of it right. Don't skimp also. Uh, and you'll also, you'll notice that I haven't included any stamp duty or legal fees, which they're gonna run at about 4,000 pounds, probably three to 4,000 pounds, four and a half-ish. Um, so yeah, we don't. So that 0 0.8, that 20% margin we're looking at is just on the purchase price versus the, um, the, the total costs of, of doing it. So the, the purchase price, the renovation, and the, the, the end value minus 20%. Um, of course, you can do whatever you want, um, and yeah, some people do. Some people would say, uh, times it by, um, look for a 22% margin or a 25% margin. Um, some people are happy at their 15% margin. Now, I would say one, always make sure you've got some margin. Um, don't kid yourself on it as well. You can see it's very easy to um, say that the renovation is going to be a little bit less or maybe expect that the, the end value is going to be a little bit more and all of a sudden you can lose 10% of that margin straight away anyway. So be realistic. Um, do always need a margin. You must, every single house you buy from now on must have a, a margin. If you're prepared to accept a slightly lesser margin, you'll buy more houses, simple as that. Um, I know that the sweet spot for my portfolio for us is 20%. So if I can always get a 20% margin and I'm happy to pay the stamp duty and the legals separately, you know, all those other costs, it keeps the math pretty easy. What, what am I really looking for? You know, 17.5% margin really, if I, if I figured all those in. No, let's just go for 20% and just for save the maths. Um, then I know that we buy houses. And if I wanted a bigger margin, then I'm, uh, I'm not gonna buy as many houses. So, second property, um, it's from Daryl, morning, uh, asking price, so this is a property, asking price, um, offers over £100,000, I'm reading through your renovation cost there, you put it down at £5,000, uh, just be really careful of that, £5,000 doesn't get you very much in, with these days and you can very easily you know, double that um, with, with you know, just all the extra stuff, you know, thinking about... Um, just finding one or two extra things and it easily adds up. So just be careful, but I've, I've written it down at 5,000 pounds. So your total cost of purchase, if you paid the asking price would be 105,000 pounds and the end value will be 120,000 pounds. Of course, that doesn't work. So um, the rent is uh, 600 pounds a month. That's gonna cover it. Whatever we go there, that, that will cover it. I've been, I've been looking to get it up ever so slightly, but at the, yeah, if you can buy a house cheap, pull your money back out of it. There are times when you look at the, the whole deal and you think, well, the equity I've created, versus um, slightly lesser yield, but I've created a big chunk of equity, so I'm maybe you're fine with that. Um, so you, you think that the end value could be 120 to 125, I'll put it down as 120 there. Now, if you really think it's 125, alter it, and you can see you're then gonna be able to spend 80% of that 5,000 pounds extra, which is a big deal. It's quite often the difference between buying a house or not buying a house. Whenever I'm buying a house, I always put a £10,000 band on the end valuation. So if I think it's going to be worth £100,000, um, that's £95,000 to £105,000. And that's my, that's my parameters. And then I base all the figures, based slap dang bang in the middle on £100,000. It's a significant difference, you know, um, you know £5,000 either way. It's a big swing. Really? You can't be any any more precise than that. I do see people, um, what's the best way? I'm trying to be artificially precise with this um, um, calculation. It's not rough, you know, it's not a guess. You've got to have something backing up, but you have also got to have in the back of your mind, it's not an exact science. You are a little bit one way or the other. And you know, if you're saying that something's worth significantly more, 
or that it's going to rent for, you know, don't kid yourself is what I'm saying. So if the end valuation is £120,000, your maximum spend on this property is going to be £96,000. So do £120,000 times 0.8 is £96,000. Um, but if the renovation is uh, £5,000, then you're going to spend, well, you can offer £91,000. So that's £120,000, £120,000 end valuation times 0.8 gives you £96,000 maximum offer, uh, renovation of £5,000 off of that, and uh, you can you can offer £91,000, so, so your ma maximum spend is £96,000. Hope that's clear. Um, of course, if your renovation goes up by £5,000, your offer price goes down by £5,000, so just be careful around that. Um, if you can get that property at £91,000, for me, that's a tick, I'd buy it. Um, I'd double check the renovation and and off we go. So, hope that hope that's been useful. Maybe it's prompted more questions than um, than it's given you answers. If you've got similar properties you're considering buying um, in the UK, send them in. If you can send some pictures, all the better. Um, maybe you've done the viewing. Maybe you haven't. Maybe it's maybe it's pictures from the internet, the the, the right move pictures or Zoopla pictures or whatever. That's fine. Yeah, send them in. Inspire at forthelandlords.com. We'll take a look and uh, do do videos in reply. If you um, want to sort of take it to the next step and you know, ask questions in, in backwards and forwards in this, book onto a discovery call. We do a discovery call um, three or four times every month and go to the website, go to discovery at forthelandlords.com. Um, as an email address, you can say, I think it's not, not a web address, that is it, that's an email address. So discovery at forthelandlords.com and book yourself onto a discovery discovery call or go to the website and go to the discovery call page two different options so um, yeah hopefully that's been useful uh, anything else you've got send them in and we'll take a look on the next deal clinic bye for now